Okay, so this question. A block X of mass m kilograms held in equilibrium by two light and extensible strings X A, X B attached to horizontal ceiling. The strings are inclined to the ceiling at angles of 30 and 51, as shown in the diagram below. So here's our diagram. The tension in the string X A is 20. Mark on the diagram the other forces acting in the block. Okay. So, I've done a little sketch here of our block. So, if we have a look at X, there are actually three forces acting on it. One's already marked in for us. Okay, so we have a 20 Newton force pulling up on it here. Now, the other thing to realise is, because it's not resting on any surface, there's no normal reaction. Okay, but there is a weight force. So, acting vertically down, we have... Uh, mg okay remember g stands for gravity it's not uh, grams okay and then last but not least we have another string attached xb which is making an angle of 51 and in that string you will also have a tension force we'll call it t so those are the three forces acting on the body x now, before we go on to do the rest of the question, we're going to need to resolve those forces. Okay, so we're going to need some angles. So we know parallel lines tells us with the horizontal that's going to make a 30, because that's an alternate angle. And the same idea, the 51 tells us it's going to be 51. So we can uh, resolve those forces. So just taking you through how to resolve the force again. If we know that's 20... We can resolve it into perpendicular forces using the angle 30. So in this direction it's going to be 20 cos 30. And in this direction it's going to be that direction, in this direction it's going to be 20 sine 30. Now sometimes some um, books or whatever teach us that because this angle up here, that's 30, 90, that will be 60. You can also write that one. Is 20 cos 60. It doesn't really matter, they're exactly the same size. Okay, we do the same with the T force. So we've got this T force at 51, so we want to resolve it horizontally in that direction, vertically in that direction. So again, this is T, this will be T cos 51, and this one T sine 51 or you could also say it's t cos 29 sorry 39 i'll make it 90. okay so if you want to draw a resolve forces diagram you could do so like this follows you've got x vertically down mg vertically up with two forces we've got t Sine 51 and with 20 sine 30 to the left with 20 cos 30 and to the right we have T cos 51. Now that diagram is going to be very useful for the rest of the question. Okay, so we move on then. We've got to be calculate the tension in the string xb so that's just t okay now the way we're going to do that is we're going to look horizontally because it's in equilibrium all the forces must give a result of zero in other words the forces to the left have to equal forces to the right so looking horizontally we have 200 cos 30 is equal to T cos 51 so T has to be 200 cos 30 divided by cos 51 so we'll go to our calculator and we get 27.5 so the tension XB is 
27.52 newtons. Okay, then move on and we're asked then to calculate the value of M. So we're going to look vertically. So looking vertically, again because we're in equilibrium, forces up must equal the forces down. So we have 20 sine 30 plus T, which we now know, 27.52 sine 51 is equal to mg, which is 10. So m is 20 sine 30 plus 27.52. Of course, you can use the more accurate value in your calculator if you want. Sine 51 divided by 10. So in our calculator. And we get M to be around 3.14 uh, kilograms. Sorry, just moving out the shot. So as I say, the force is up, equal forces down, rearranging it, and then just calculate it.